surge. Well, the Lions take another step towards another top two finish. So much on the line at Cadinia Park. Geelong and Brisbane as week eight continues, and it's Presparkus. Can they find an avenue to goal? Sermon goes to Maloney. And that's going to be the matchup to keep an eye on at that end of the ground all afternoon. Maloney versus Dunn. Can she slot the opener? Yes, she can. Perfect start for the Cats. Mullins ducked. Davidson floats it high. Here comes Smith. It'll spill over the back. Oh, Hodder got a bad bounce. Otherwise, she was away for a goal. Friswell and McDonald combine. Derby under pressure. She pops it up, and Ruby Spark will get the first look of the afternoon for Brisbane. For Geelong, Crockett Grills just needs the ball to sit. It does. Tight angle. Bends it goalward. Still there. Well done, Bowen. Great team goal from the Cats. Scott gets it in game 75. Right start from Geelong. Kennedy attacks the goal square to a two on two. Almost for Parry, wanted a free kick like whistle. So Parry to extend this great start for Geelong. Cats have got the first three. Good fight there from Davison. Maybe now a chance. Hart Hartle's handball showed a lot of it to Morrison. Smith pokes it into space. Reacting first was Campbell, well done. Maloney and Parry both there, Maloney what takes this one. Parry will peel off and head back towards the square. Sermon's the target, through her fingers. One-on-one -on -one contest now with Evie Long. Long wraps her up. On the ball. Critical tackle from Evie Long. She's run down by Parry. Conway, she's wrapped up by Bowen. Bell doors the other way, oh, almost brilliantly to Anderson, a hand in there to break it up. Friswell's crunched by Long. Umpire says play on. Dawes is taken down by Crockett Grills. Mullins needed to be quick and was. Long just had to try and feed it backwards. Ruby Sparks yeah. taken down. Pressure is intense right yeah. now. Hickey to the top of the square. Body work from Davidson was outstanding. Perfectly to her advantage. She still did enough to take the grab. The ninth of the season. And she puts Brisbane on the board. <laughs> to Webster. Conan tries to work Scott underneath it and wins it at the back. Breaks a tackle, finds her boot, keeps it moving. And finds Mullins. Charlotte goes down the line, well done Morrison. Kick for Mullins. Grill spilled the mark. Spark put the pressure on and Dawes pounced on the turnover. Ruby Spark paddles to her own advantage, being pursued by Webster. Pokes the kick to the pocket, strong from Davidson. She landed heavily in the Dunn direction. Dawes arrives to provide support. Grider being pressured by Maloney. Affects the kick. Ball spills out. Players on the ground still brings it to ground. And then also Jackie Parry getting the ball and making sure she doesn't get caught by Poppy Bolts. Thorne went long looking for Sermon, but Grider got in the way. Quick kick, may come back, it's Thorne again. And coughs it up as a result. Crockett Grills takes the advantage, drives it deep. Maloney got a hand on it, Sermon lurking. Maloney clever, Morrison over the top. Scott for a second from the goal line. Anderson's handball back towards Hickey, back to Alley. Float to kick, only as far as Friswell. As Grider, she's taken down. Maloney and maybe a chance for Geelong to get out the back. Maloney has a bounce. Needs someone forward to the football. Just pops it over the top. The speeds to Bowen. Bolts again turned around. Does Bowen get a, a bounce? Spills Morrison. Runs straight into Conway. Brisbane ball. Good pressure from the Lions. Rallying here. Ruby Spark releases a handball. Oaks wire back to Ruby. Has a bounce. Gets dragged down, just got the handball away. Well done by Webster. Handball back to Campbell. She'll go towards Anderson at half forward. Two on one, Scott cuts it off. Conan, and they orchestrate the switch. Next in the chain is Campbell. Kick missed its target, which allows Bragg to come in and put some pressure on. That affected the kick, forced the turnover. Bowen's actually, <laughs> well, she's played that perfectly. She confused herself, then she confused Bowen. Go, go, 
go quickly. It's a genuine one-on-one -on -one forward. Hartle over the top, finds O'Dwyer at 45. Aller will play on. Set sail for goal. Has Smith at the top of the square. Won't need her. Great response from Brisbane and a critical one. Now, Davidson, of course, there is Hickey on the end of it. Handball was too hot for O'Dwyer. Possel wait. Tries to step through a tackle, can't do so, umpire says play on. And then it's a late whistle. Each time, so both of these teams can score quickly. So, yeah, 15 points is not going to be enough in this. Rankin. Thorne's going to get run down by Holler. Heads in the Bowen direction. Getting back there in defensive support is O'Dwyer. O'Dwyer versus Bowen. O'Dwyer can't get free and Bowen will be rewarded. She needs to run and carry it out of there. Possel White run down by Emerson. So Shelley will set it up. And Morrison will fly at it. Could really put the exclamation mark on a great quarter with a goal here. Morrison, 20 out. Gets that all-important goal. To Charlotte Mullins. Awkward from there, snaps it high, three on two in the square, awkward bounce, Webster commits the body, handball almost picked off by Spark, Emerson gave it up, Mullins snaps, and Brisbane get the goal they needed. Charlotte has two bounces, will kick it high, they need a grab, working hard to get back there as possible weight, three seconds, gives it off, Kathy's going to put it on her boot, she has. quarter. Geelong by 17 points. Press Park has taken off it. Mullins' handball in the Anderson direction. Run down by Sermon. The speech to Bowen. Runs to 40. Sets it up. Parry the target. Well done, Poppy Bolts. Massive win for her. In a one-on-one -on -one in the defensive goal square. How good was that tackle, though, from Kate Sermon? Ali Anderson was out. Dangerous kick from Bolts is picked off by Friswell. Off to Kennedy, having the best game of her career. Goes for a run, punches the kick towards 50, turns the defence around, Sermon gathers, just slips away from her, has support. Maloney steps, bolts, gets a look at the goal, heads for goal, and kicks the goal! Massive for the Cats! Postlethwaite. Good jacket crunched. Big tackle from Cathy Spark. Smith. Prisparkas just clears the zone. Allinger, important grab. Selvage and percentage, if not the four points. Hartle, taken down by Derby and gone. Back to Dawes. Smith's got a couple to deal with in the air. Which is the story of the entire day. Swept onto by Allinger now, Conway, but she looks up and has no one to kick to. So she'll have to go by hand, they can work this well. Spark back to Conway. Now Kennedy has to commit, which opens Spark. Open goal if she can pick it up, she can't. Morrison came in, forced a contest. Ruby still finds it. Handball pass long. O'Dwyer open goal and Brisbane get it. Hotter to Dawes, this is what they need. Goals out of the middle in a hurry. Doors to Long. Can she pull the trigger and keep them alive? Yes, she can. Brisbane need it, and they might get it through Spark. Pressure from Morrison. Taking the ground, his Doors scrambles away. O'Dwyer, Brisbane searching again. Can they find someone inside 50? They can. Hartle plays on, will kick goalwards. And misses. Emerson in no hurry. She'll go long and wide. Didn't hit it where she wanted. She needed to take the uncontested. I know they're trying to chew some time off the clock, but needed to take the uncontested possession. Let's see if that's what Becky Webster does. I know, hold on to the ball as long as you can, but for Geelong, they need to equalise. There's not going to be anyone to kick to. They can well and good move the ball out of their back half, but they need to get it to their forward. Crockett Grills looks to escape. From Kathy Spark, kick to the pocket. Maloney gathers it in, twists and turns, tries to get rid of Dunn, snaps it back to a dangerous spot. Conway's got it. They've got to get it and go. They've got 80 seconds left. Doors crunched, and the Cats roll the reigning premiers to keep their season alive. Geelong with a critical win that could 
supercharge their run home.